Bynes' philosophy is quite simple. It's all about only having a positive impact on everything that we touch and everything that we do. That coincides quite well with nature and the way that nature works and, and the way ecosystems are run. Right before I came to the UK for university, I went traveling for a couple of years and I traveled to some of the poorest places in the world. Um, I grew up in Qatar in the Middle East and there was quite a contrast between where I grew up and, and where I traveled to. And um, I was just really shocked to see, uh, you know, the amount of waste that is present all over the world. And that really motivated me to, you know, look into this and, and try and make a change and make a difference. When I started my uh, master's degree at Brunel University, I led a research project investigating the waste streams in the UK. And what I found is that the construction industry were generating incredible amounts of waste. That sort of led us on a really exciting journey that led us to where we are now um, of developing new materials for the construction industry. When we were looking at the materials that need to be um, addressed, it was very clear that insulation, sheet materials and concrete or structural materials were the main three key areas. So when it came to investigating insulation, we wanted to look for examples in nature of structures that are naturally grown and that are naturally created to um, achieve the highest level of porosity. The idea that mycelium can be grown in really intricate uh, highways under the soil um, is, is really intriguing. And when it's grown within you know, a confined direction or a confined space, then what it does is it creates one of the most insulating materials in, in nature. Mycelium insulation is what we're focusing on at the moment and we're looking to be starting to produce um, insulation panels by the end of this year. But we've also developed a sheet material made out of food and agricultural waste um, called Orb or Organic Refuse Biocompound. And one of our mycelium strains has decided to develop an appetite for plastic, uh, which was quite a revelation. And we did some further testing and found that it is actually able to degrade plastic at a really significant rate. So that, you know, spurred us on a whole other research journey um, where we were able to also access funding from waiters and partners um, to develop this further. And we now have three strains of mycelium that can consume PU, polyurethane, and PE, polyethylene, uh, which are two of the most common plastics. They're in everything from your kettle and toaster to, um, you know, cling film and, and all kinds of plastics that are around us on a daily basis.